Hello, I'm Jelena Vasic and today we are in front of uh, Altiero Spinelli building of the European Parliament uh, where uh, the plenary session of the Digital Agenda Assembly takes place. Digital Agenda Assembly is an annual inter-institutional policy event aimed at assessing the progress and identifying the challenges for the Digital Agenda for Europe. The Digital Agenda is one. We need to make all parts of European social and economic life fully digital faster. At the moment, the way we do business in our real lives, we are in little holes doing uh, social platforms, doing research, doing regulation. This is the opportunity, just once a year, when people with different labels come together. The added value for, I think, a lot of people that attended today is the networking all across, because we were all talking about collaboration. I think it's just getting everybody together in one place. The real benefit for, for, for things like this is to surfacing the problems, is to get them discussed and to identify where the bottlenecks are, where we need to solve things. It allows for direct interaction amongst policymakers, national, European, regional, and also between policymakers, firms, academics, consultants, etc. So there really is direct interaction. The exam question was clearly set, and the moderator kept all the participants on to answering the question, and it was very effective. It's a very timely workshop. It's a very open workshop. Um, it's very well organized. Full of energy, full of lively behaviour, people were, were very engaged in the process. We really are overwhelmed with, with content and thinking. After a meeting in Brussels, everybody asks themselves, is this a one-off event? Is it just a party? And the answer, I think, is clearly not, because we have decided to do this a second time round, and we shall continue doing it. I think it complements what the European Commission already does. Um, and it is good that uh, sometimes the dialogue happens in an open space and not in closed meetings, uh, and not only in writing through consultations that are very dry. I think that we have got better at doing the online side, so the balance between people in the room and people online has completely reversed. We've got uh, 60 countries involved, we've got thousands of people, and in the room we actually have fewer than last year's. I think it was very well prepared, especially the online preparation. I think it saved us a lot of time. Oh, I think it's really important that the Commission hear what the stakeholders have to say, uh, especially the grassroots people. And I think that's why the online engagement's been so special about this this year. I would say one main theme is coming, amongst many other ideas, which is the European Commission helping with awareness and surfacing opportunities and describing risk and responding to those to help companies embrace social media, to embrace the new tools and to grow their businesses and grow jobs. Um, I think there is a dialogue, um, but we need to uh, follow up that dialogue with action. There's been a lot of talk for a lot of years, and this is interesting, I think, because at this point, I think we've moved away from this nebulous, if you'll pardon the pun, idea into something rather concrete and moving towards uh, European cloud strategy, which is coming out very soon. It's a positive thing. And I think the, the mood, the atmosphere was quite upbeat. Uh, we're basically moving towards real action. We need to do more now. Can we accelerate our activity in order to uh, help the European recovery? And the answer is yes, I think we can do more now. And this is the middle of the Barroso II administration, and Nelly has lots of big proposals coming. So in the autumn, I think we'll see a lot of responses to what's going on in the workshops. We're halfway through. Uh, so what we're going to get is an enormous amount to pick over, to look and review. The online discussions have been terrific. We're trending in the UK and Germany on Twitter. We, we've got enormous uh, uptake of, of outsiders contributing as well. The right question is, what's the importance 
for Europe to achieve its social and economic goals through digital technology. And I, th and I think it's very good in that regard because it allows the right questions to be asked and then for all the stakeholders to contribute in a focused way. I think the ecosystem approach works, but it should not be demarcated as only being relevant for ICT. I think that's, that's for me the main outcome. And we are in a digital world which is changing very rapidly. Uh, if, we don't, if we don't change our uh, attitude to public sector information and we don't change our attitude towards innovation, and towards uh, uh, access to the digital world, then Europe will fall behind, the citizens will fall behind, and uh, democracy will fall behind too. One of the Commission delegates, I think, summed it up rather beautifully. He said, maybe cloud computing is like a marriage. You know, you just have to get the prenup right, the prenuptial. You know, and if you get that right, then the contract of marriage can work. Sometimes it fails. There are divorces. You'll always have problems with a marriage. You know, if you assume that the intentions are right, you go into it with the right mood, with the right intention, something good will come out of it.